and I can remember the old days of the laundry. Um, in, in fact, as a boy, when I when I first came to live in the town, we lived next door to the engineer from the laundry, a chap called Fred Mead. And during the war, the boilers always had to be cleaned at Christmas. And I can remember as a boy going down there, because I was small enough, when they actually closed down the, the fires. Where was the laundry? The laundry was in Laundry Yard, you see, in Everland's Road. Ah, oh, yes. Where low heat now is. That was the laundry. It was the laundry after it was the, was the brewery because it was a brewery before that. Right. And I'll tell you about that in a moment, but as a boy, when the boilers were closed, when the fires were shut down at Christmas, I used to go down on Boxing Day after allowing it to cool for a period, and they used to take the lid off the boiler, and I was expected to go down inside and descale it. And the temperature inside the boiler was probably up in the hundreds. Yes. And this was on Boxing Day. But even as a lad of 13, 14, I used to get three pounds for going to scale that boiler. You don't remember what kind of boiler it was, do you? It was just a damn great iron tank, as I remember it. Oh, Macca's boiler. Probably, with a firebox going through it, you see, yeah. and full of water, and it was full of scale because it was relatively soft yeah. water. And I used to go down with a great scraper, because the engineer had a gammy leg. In fact, I think he may have even when he had one leg. But he used to drop me through this little hole, and I used to work there all day until it was descaled. Yeah, but before that, my uncle worked in the brewery there, and he relates the stories because he, as a boy, a young man, worked in the brewery when it was Palethorpe Brewery, and he tells me stories of taking the beer over to Wantage when the drainman went down Wantage Hill with the brakes fully on because the beer casks were there, and of course the drainman always got drunk, and used to, the, the horses perhaps used to bring them home. <laughs> But he went off into the army in the 1900 and did a continuous 13 years in India before he came home again. But that was as a lad he would told me. So, and of course they used to field the pigs on the swirl. And yes. pigs used to do very well in the swirl. Yes, they did. They got a bit fat for present day. Yes, that's right. I guess they were. And Wally Champ used to have his little... He used to bottle lemonade up in the laundry yard as a boy. It was a, 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 a memorable trip, actually. Well, Wally Champs, I remember writing it. And they used to have the little marbles in the top. Yes. yes. Mm. And of course, my uncle was, uh, was one of the signal men pre-war at the station. And I used to go up into the signal box, which is great. When the old days of the old steam trains, yes. friendly he lived down in the forge. And uh, he used to walk up through. Gosh, it's gone. What do you call it? Borden Carriage. Yes. Isn't that silly? Oh, why silly. is it called Borden Carriage? Goodness knows. Lots of people have asked me that and I don't know. I've asked lots of people and they didn't tell no, me. No, it's lost in the, in the in history somewhere. Yes. But the Fred lived in the forge, used to walk up Borden Carriage to the signal box, which then stood next to the level crossing. Mm. Yes, I've often wondered where that is. And the station, of course. I mean, I can remember when the fire is in the waiting room. I can remember the great frosts of 1940 particularly when the canal was frozen. And Peter Norman, his father kept Norman's garage. He and I went on the canal and fell through the ice. And I didn't get particularly wet, but Peter was soaked up into the neck. And then we actually went up to the station, where there were fires in the waiting room, and hung his trousers out on the chair, and dried his trousers off before he went home. Inspector Ortega ran out. Oh, yeah, quite Yes, I had um, a lot of information about the station from John Allen. Yes, I'm sure you would. But I can remember particularly the good old coal fires in the station. Yeah. Because, I mean, we all went on the train to do the to school. Yeah. There was a person who were lucky enough to pass the scholarship. It was called scholarship in those days, you see. I know, yes. It wasn't that scholarship these days. No, it's no. Divisive. That's yeah. another pity, isn't it? It yes, is. Um, everybody's got to be down and down. Yeah. And of course, the introduction of John and Old School changed a little as well. When, when did that come? 63, when it started to do a bit. And I mean, I mean, I've been chairing the governors up there now for the last 11 years, so I've become dramatically involved in John and Old School, but its introduction was, was of enormous importance to me, of course. Yes. Changed the face of education in the town. Because whilst I went to the primary school and I went to the grammar school, and indeed remember the, the, the national school very well in the high street, because that was the ARP centre yes. when I was a boy, and then the public library was there, and the, the school dentist used to operate from there. So 
a pretty fearful business going to the school dentist. You know, they used to peddle the thing down for bleeding your teeth when you had them stopped. And that's a pretty painful process. Now the library has moved around quite a lot, hasn't it? I remember it in the National School. Well, I remember it in what I suppose is now Carpenters at the back. Because that was Dobson's wool shop and there used to be a room at the back which was the public library. And then of course in its present situation in Church Street. So I can remember three places. And there may have been others. It was, I, guess I think it was down in Bridge Street Schoolroom as well. It was. Mm -hmm. Yes, in Bridge Street Schoolroom. Valuable service the library has given them. And still does. Gosh, yes, yes, I mean, I must, yes, absolutely, I'm a great user of the library. And also, you see, we have the mobile 